This week on The Best of the West, Dan Adler and Team Huskamaw head to South America to hunt some of the region's biggest and most sought after trophies. Hi, I'm Dan Adler, and welcome to the Best of the West. This week, we're in La Pampa, Argentina, at the amazing Casa Pampa Hunting Ranch. This is an episode you're going to enjoy. Don't go anywhere. Over the years, the Best of the West has been all around the world, on multiple continents, and in multiple countries. Even I myself have been able to represent Team Huskamaw in multiple continents. What do these countries all have in common? The same result. Drop dead accuracy at unprecedented yardage in any wind condition. That's the Huskama advantage. This episode is very special to me personally and professionally. This has been a two year project in the making with the USA representative for Casa Pampa Hunting Ranch, Ricardo Aguado, my good friend and cazador. Over the last two years, we decided we were gonna put something together. We didn't quite know when, we didn't quite know how, but from the moment we met, we knew that I was coming to La Pampa and the Casa Pampa Hunting Ranch. We have a beautiful ranch here, plenty of game. We have more than 50,000 acres of land. We set up uh, to hunt uh, rest tags, fallows, axes, buffaloes, black packs. And it was a fantastic experience to have a professional crew from Best of the West hunting with us. There were so many animals on my dream sheet when I got here to Casa Pampa, but one that had to be towards the top was the black buck antelope. After looking at several black buck antelope, Rick wanting us to make sure we shot an older buck out of the herd and a dark as black in color as possible, we finally spotted one on one of the parts of the ranch that's in the open and gave us a really good opportunity to highlight our system to Rick. As we were starting to get set up, knowing that the shot would be somewhere between 350 and 600 yards on a rutting black buck, I asked him, what is the furthest you've ever had a black buck harvested on this property? He thought about it for a minute and I believe his response was 250 to 300 yards. Well, we were now potentially going to double that. This black buck not only had his mind on does, but was also having to deal with a lot of other animals during the rut, which makes it a very intense moment in hunting. And a black buck antelope, by its very nature, doesn't stand still very long. I had Rick range the black buck multiple times and we constantly found him moving between about the 530 and the 450 yard mark. Finally, the buck made a mistake and turned broadside at 485 yards in a blowing wind. The 
The Best of the West is brought to you by the Wild Sheep Foundation, Cryptech Camo, Hawkins Precision, Polestar Outdoors, Hornady, Accurate, Deadly, Dependable, Huskama Optics, and LongRangeStore.com. Field host Lat Durance is in Wyoming with Shoshone Lodge Outfitters hunting for mule deer. The main lodge is located west of Cody near Yellowstone Park. They offer guided hunts for deer, elk, moose, bighorn sheep, mountain goat, and most other big game and predator species in Wyoming. Their main lodge is first class in comfort and a great meeting spot for everyone to enjoy hot, home-cooked meals and conversation. The main lodge is accompanied by a number of small cabins where guest hunters can have their own space. With plenty of room for four guests, each cabin is updated with nice bathrooms and a full kitchen complete with appliances. Providing guests maximum comfort during their stay with a great view. Let's go meet up with Lat as him and guide Josh Martolio head up the mountain horseback in search of a trophy mule deer. After seeing a number of young bucks at the first glassing spot, they decide to ride up the ridge to another spot. It's late October and the mule deer bucks are searching to link up with the doe herds as the November rut becomes closer. Lat and Josh are relying on glassing the big open country in hopes of finding a mature high country buck passing through. With a number of little canyons around to hide a deer, Josh walks down a ridge to check a nearby spot he's seen deer in before. As he glasses over the edge, he finds a Wyoming giant tending his does. They got a big buck spot just over here. It's on the other side of this canyon somewhere, 769, maybe 800 yards. As Lat gets set up on the buck, Josh calls his other guide on the radio and has his hunter also come set up right beside Lat in case there's another buck in the drainage.
So I'm Lennon Gines from Best of the West, and I'm the developer of the muzzle loader. When we did the first initial testing, we shot a, an 11 inch group at 1,125 yards. And that was with seven shots. At that point, we knew we had something pretty special. So we kind of evolved things from there and pushed it a little harder, but, and it's just proven to show, like I said, even, even at long range, we're still holding at least a minute. We shot prairie dogs today and, and uh, it, it almost wasn't fair. So all the wind data, is, is, like with every Husqvarna, is on your turret. So you literally dial to your yardage, it tells you what, what wind to hold, dial to it, send it. It's pretty simple. This is going to come all inclusive. There's no accessories you need. There's no parts and pieces that, that you got to go find somewhere else. The load development's all done. Everything's finished. The turret's going to be done for you know whatever whatever elevation you're shooting at. When you buy this rifle, everything is, is done. So if you're interested in this rifle, this system, or, or want some more information, go to thebestofthewest.net. Give me two MOA. I didn't have a shot there for turn broadside. It's still moving. I have a shot there, T. I'm yeah, on him. You're good, T? Yep. Whoa. Lights out. Well, it's our second full day here in La Pampa, Argentina with Ricardo Aguado and Casa Pampa Outfitters. And I tell you what, I've had a black buck on my hit list for 20 years. Today, 480 yards, brother. About two MOA, and we got ourselves a nice, mature black buck. I couldn't be more excited. Born and raised in Argentina, going home to Arizona. Thank you to Casa Pampa. The 300 Win Mag topped that 5 by 30 Just incredible combination. This is animals about half the size of a coos deer, about the third of a size of an American pronghorn. Thanks to conservation efforts like those going on at Casa Pampa, there are more black buck antelope in Argentina and in the United States than its home country of India. Awesome animals, so glad to be able to hunt them with you here, Rick. We are very happy to have you here with us, best of the West in Casa Pampa, Argentina. We are proud and it's a privilege to have you with us. Thank you, brother. Awesome Thank day. You. Thank you. We're just getting started. A wide variety of big game species roam the open grasslands of Argentina, the largest of which is the Asian water buffalo, weighing as much or more than a Cape buffalo from South Africa. Feral goats fighting during the rut are relentless and can be seen most often when transitioning from the open areas into thicker vegetation. Fallow and axis deer are highly alert and can be very challenging to find once in the woodlands. So many different species inhabit the land here at Casa Pampa, but none are as sought after as the red stag. With the rut now at its peak, roaring stags can be heard day and night, challenging one another for the right to breed. Three years ago, Dan had the privilege of hunting red stags in Ireland. Due to poor weather and some unfortunate area boundaries, Dan never got the chance to put one of these incredible animals in his sights. During the course of this hunt, Dan is being provided the opportunity to harvest a management stag as well as a trophy stag. With sights now set on redemption, Dan works his way closer to the distant roars. With only an hour of daylight remaining, Dan finally gets eyes on a stag pushing several hinds through the trees.
As the stag warns off any potential rivals, Dan sets up for an offensive of his own. Crosswinds gusting at 20 miles an hour is not a problem with Huskama optics. However, the stag's continued retreat into thicker cover is making a shot impossible. Dan locates a great stag just before sunset, roaring out to nearby challengers. With his turret dialed and safety off, Dan roars back. The Best of the West is brought to you by the Wild Sheep Foundation, Cryptek Camo, Hawkins Precision, Defiance Custom Actions, Hornady, Accurate, Deadly, Dependable, Huskama Optics and LongRangeStore.com. We're back in Wyoming with Shoshone Lodge Outfitters and field host Lat Durance is set up on the buck of a lifetime. As mature bucks often do, the deer manages to keep himself in cover, making Lat wait until the deer steps in a clearing, providing a clear shot to the vitals at 700 yards across the drainage. Oh man! Good job, man. Gary, <laughs> good job, brother. Boy, that was pretty intense. Woo! I think that's some of the coolest stuff in the world. Thank you, Josh Martolio, to show you a lot down there. Thank you, Gary. Well, he dropped right in the scope. Now we're gonna walk our horses down. It's a real steep trail. We're gonna walk down, come up the other side, go check him out, recover him. Josh. <laughs> Holy Josh. smokes. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Gary. Son of a gun. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness, that's the best mule deer I've ever taken. That's a huge Wyoming mule deer. That is a huge, heavy horn, wide buck. Oh my goodness. Hey, thank you. Good, Good spot, Jordan. Thanks. Jordan nice. put a spot Good on job, it. Man. Good job. Thank you, brother. That's thank a, you so much. That's a dandy man. I think that deer is outstanding. Biggest deer we've ever killed, for sure. And Lat was the lucky man. Uh, thank you, brother. Yeah. Thank you. He's a stud. You know, it's all about having the right tools, the right equipment. Huskama Advantage with my wind enabled turret and my MOA Huskama hash marks in my scope, I was holding three minutes of wind, 700 yards. We estimated that 10 to 12 mile an hour wind. I didn't hit where I was aiming. 
I needed a good another two more minutes. I should have held five minutes of wind. But by managing the wind and holding three, that horn of the ELDX went in, did what it's supposed to do, hydrostatic shock, trauma to the vitals, deer never took a step. If I hadn't been holding the wind at all, I'd have never had a chance. We would not have even been in the game. That's the Husqvarna advantage, managing the wind. Preservation of meat and hide is critical in the backcountry. It's very important to get the meat cooling as fast as possible to avoid spoilage. So the team capes and quarters the deer out, loads it on the pack horse, and makes the trip back to the lodge. Finally, a muzzleloader proven more accurate than a factory rifle. 685 yards at the muzzleloader. Yeah. Boom! Our innovative express priming system eliminates the headache of dealing with loose primers. Our precision fit bullet design eliminates flyers and unreliable sabots and allows us to have a real muzzle brake that diverts the smoke from your view. Complete with everything you may need, including the Huskama Advantage. Available now from the Long Range Hunting Authority, the best of the West. On this particular evening, we had got set up on several stag and we're so close to pulling the trigger and then a rutting hind would take them away from us or the wind would fool us or something else would change and they would go into the trees. And it took a while for this stag to break away. When he did break away, he would constantly go behind trees and I don't mean like covering part of his body. It looked like he actually disappeared into the trees. He's perfectly behind the tree. It took a while but he finally followed a hind and then left her and came out broadside at just under 400 yards. That 300 wind mag dropped it, one and done. <laughs> this is the result of two days of hard work, lots of scouting, lots of glassing, looking over a ton of country here at Casa Pampa. And today we got it done. They're still roaring in the background. Who could ask for anything more? The rut is on full, and this particular stag gave us all we could ask for and more. Dashing in and out of the trees, coming up on top. When he would make a move, he would move by 100 yards or more. And this is the result. 360 yards. Dropped him with one shot. Great, great representative animal of which you can expect to hunt here in Argentina. Thanks to Casa Pampa, thanks to Ricardo, thanks to Vinny and everybody. Just an awesome, awesome hunt and way to wrap up day number two. One of the things that I was really excited in talking with T, our camera operator at the Best of the West about this particular hunt, was how we were going to employ the drone on multiple opportunities. Not just for B-roll and footage of the ranch, but for actual hunting applications to see how it would work. We wanted to hunt this water buffalo in the most traditional Argentinian way possible. And we got up in the high racks and drove around some of these incredible, incredible properties. 
one particular afternoon, it didn't take very long, and we got set up on a large herd of water buffalo. And as we were getting set up for the shot, looking for the biggest shooter in the group, we all agreed, let's give T, the camera operator, a chance to run the drone over this beautiful herd of buffalo. Even if it spooks the herd, let's try for this once in a lifetime opportunity to film these buffalo in their habitat. The drone took off. As it made its way downrange, the buffalo weren't having any part of it. So from a hunting perspective, we were done. But from appreciation of nature perspective, we were just getting started. As this herd of buffalo left our visual range, it was beautiful to watch it go through the trees and ultimately met up with another group of buffalo. As they formed kind of a V-shaped transition going through the brush, it's incredible footage that reminded me of something right out of National Geographic, an amazing videographic accomplishment by our team. When the best of the West returns, Dan Adler and the crew stop chasing the herds and start reducing them. Are you ready? Yep. The Best of the West is brought to you by the Wild Sheep Foundation, Cryptek Camo, Hawkins Precision, Defiance Custom Actions, Hornady, Accurate, Deadly, Dependable, Huskama Optics, and LongRangeStore.com. We're now in Kansas with field host Dan Adler. He has the Huskama 3x32 crossbow scope mounted on his crossbow and is looking to fill the freezer with a nice dough. So we're coming back out to the stand with a lot of optimism. Hopefully there's some movement. We really want to put this new Huskama 3x32 to the test and today's the day to do it. Let's make sure it's fully adult, not a button puck. Let's go ahead and take it, okay? Come on, man. What an awesome, awesome deal. This doe come in by herself, no fawns, no bucks. We're getting 
We're gonna get set up and just go ready to hunt. She's down right here, not even 8 a.m. Got her crossbow all safed up. We're gonna recover this doe and provide some tender back straps for camp tonight. Pretty exciting. Covered our crossbow bolt here. I'll tell you what, Dan Evans and Jared over there at Shuttle T Trophy Taker, this broadhead is unbelievable. I mean, it looks like it's not even been used. She's white belly right here. Good deal. Perfect, just what you want. An older doe without a fawn. Just a perfect doe. That three by 32, I just put it right there on the shoulder and it did the rest. Just an awesome morning. What a great, great deal here at Bell Wildlife, Kansas. What a great place to be in early November. Don't want to be anywhere else. We'll be right back after the break with the best of the West. For more information about the products and gear used in today's show, please visit longrangestore.com or call 1-866-754-7618. Welcome back to the show. Field host Lat Durrance just shot a deer of a lifetime in the Wyoming backcountry with Shoshone Lodge Outfitters. Now back at the main lodge, they unsaddle horses, unload gear, and anxiously await to see what other deer they can find in the morning. It doesn't take long after the darkness starts fading and Josh has found a nice buck bedded in some trees near the bottom of the canyon. It's a nice buck, look at that thing. Got a really nice buck down here. Josh is being the salesman this morning. He showed it to Gary, filmed it through the scope and then went and showed it to Gary's wife and I think she wants to get a closer look. It's a nice buck. Shortly after deciding this buck was a shooter, a moose cow and calf went running through the bottom of the drainage and pushed all of the deer onto some cliff ledges high in the canyon. They had like they'd never even seen a moose before, like it was a grizzly bear or something. It blew them all out and we were worried for a minute, but it actually turned out better because we got a good look at everything in this drain. Uh, they've gone up high. We've got to figure out how to get down there and make a stalk on them. But this is good hunting, which is showing any large outfitters. After a short stalk, the deer are in view and the guys get Brandy set up for a 650 yard shot.
good to go, Brandon. It's a beautiful 5x5 five five Wyoming buck. 650 yards, bullseye. Best the West Rifles, Eskimo Scopes. Yep, they do the job. Shoney Lodge Outfitters. Good combination. Nice box frame. Beautiful. How old do you think he is? Five. He's old. He's a mature buck. That's, that's what we kill. For more information about hunting with Shoshone Lodge Outfitters, contact Josh at 307-899-4673 or visit www.shoshonelodgeoutfitters.com. The Best of the West is brought to you by the Wild Sheep Foundation, Cryptek Camo, Hawkins Precision, Defiance Custom Actions, Hornady, Accurate, Deadly, Dependable, Huskama Optics, and LongRangeStore.com. For more information about hunting in Argentina with the Casa Pampa Hunting Ranch, please contact Rick at 609-780-0693 or email at info at casapampa.com. For more information about the products and gear used in today's show, please visit longrangestore.com or call 1-866-754-7618. Our buffalo hunt was not successful that day, but the video footage was epic and worth every minute. In fact, there were times we dedicated two, three, even four hours out of a day just to filming the natural beauty of Casa Pampa Hunting Ranch. But then it was back to the hunt. There's some big bulls on the property that Rick and Vinny were really excited about. And after discussing it, we decided to go to a different section of the ranch where these bulls were known to be located. A couple days later, we came back to see if there was any shooters in the group. It's a beautiful sunrise, a clear day. Maybe windier than some of the other days, but a beautiful day for shooting. We went out, we looked at several bulls before making the right decision on which one to pick. I had a fun conversation with my guides when they said, you know that 300 wind mag might be a little small for a buffalo. I said, you know what, I think we're going to be one and done. I think I can put them on the ground with one shot. Because this isn't just your Walmart 300 wind mag, this is a best of the west custom signature series 300 wind mag with an impressively fast 210 grain bullet. After we had some fun debate, they agreed they'd leave their 416 at the ranch. I could take my rifle. It's yeah. a broadside one that's almost to the rest of the herd. Yeah. Now making a perfectly clean ethical shot was only one component to a great buffalo hunt. But walking up to it and having Rick and Vinny tell me that this was a 14 year old bull that was going to weigh something between 2300 and 2400 pounds was not only humbling to me as the hunter but maybe even more so because of the age class and the trophy class of the animal. It's a beautiful trophy. These actually weigh more than the Cape Buffalo of Africa. 
Wrap that all up in a bow. It was an epic buffalo hunt. Everybody here at Casa Pampa runs a class act operation, but they were definitely a little bit concerned today when I busted out the 300 wind mag for this hunt. We talked about the buffalo's heart being lower and a little bit more back, similar to an American bison. But we got it done. 300 wind mag in the heart with a 210 grain bullet. And this is the result of a beautiful day, a beautiful trophy. So glad to have everybody at the team from Casa Pampa with me. My wife, Terry, has joined us. You know, today there's more Asian water buffalo off the Asian continent than there is on it. Thanks to conservation efforts like the team at Casa Pampa, the future is bright for Asian water buffalo. Thank you, guys. Thank you, then. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you, honey. Now that you know that Argentina isn't just for dove hunting, I want to share with you just how easy it is to get in and out of Argentina. Buenos Aires is served by nine or ten national airports in the U.S. with a non-stop daily flight into Buenos Aires. From there, it's about an hour flight to Santa Rosa, where the Casa Pampa staffs waits for you and picks you up in a beautiful Mercedes van, and then you're off to the ranch. No visas required, no shots are required. You need to get yourself to Argentina, and you need to call Casa Pampa. When the bell rings, it's time to get your feed bag on typically between 12.30 and 1 for lunch and sometime after 8 o'clock for dinner. When that bell rings, everybody's moving to the kitchen. And the service here is unbelievable. From the cooks to the waiters, every detail is mastered. I was so impressed with Hernan. The second day of my trip here, he knew what I drank for lunch and how it was different from what I drank at dinner time. When there's 20 people in camp, that really says something about the level of service they want to provide here at Casa Pampa. Next week on The Best of the West, the adventure continues in Argentina with Dan Adler and fellow guests of the Casa Pampa Hunting Ranch. Several remarkable shots are sent downrange at some incredible South American trophies you won't want to miss.